welcome to the Wallock Way. My name's Emily, and today's video is our Mini Beast Morning Basket. For Read Alouds, we have Masterpiece, Beetle Boy, which there are two more in this series if we decide that we like it, James and the Giant Peach, The Cricket and Times Square, and then for some nonfiction read aloud, we'll be reading from The Book of Brilliant Bugs, which I absolutely love how beautiful this one is, but also how bite-sized the information is so that it's not super, I mean, it's in-depth, but it's not super in-depth. So we can go down all the rabbit trails we want after reading it. And then the same thing with the Big Book of Bugs. So it has beautiful illustrations as well, but it's also that bite-sized chunk information. So we'll probably just read one spread each morning. That way we have a little bit of information, but it's not super overwhelming. For Mad Libs, we have these funny fill in my bug adventure. One of the things we really like about these is that it's in full color and there's always some kind of fun fact to go with it. So these are National Geographic. And they really are just hilarious. For trivia, we have the Brain Buster card game. This is the Creepy Crawly edition. It's 31 different cards, but each card has multiple, let's see if I can get one out, different questions. So this one has six questions on it. So we'll probably do about a card a day, and then we'll repeat if we would like. And then for poetry, which is something I decided we would add in because I found some really cool books. I bought all of these used from thrift books because it was the only way to get them. A lot of them were out of print, but your library might have them. Um, Bugs, poems about creepy things. This one reminds me kind of of a Shel Silverstein style poems and the little drawings. It is super cute. I'm very excited to read that. And then Bug Off Creepy Crawly Poems. What I liked about this one is that there's a poem about a praying mantis and then there's information about that bug or insect or arachnid or whatever it is. So like here's about love bug and then here's information about a love bug. So it's poetry, realistic pictures, and then a little bit of facts about them as well. Then we have Cricket in the Thicket, Poems About Bugs. And this one is similar to the one I just showed you because it has the little facts, although these are more cartoonistic illustrations, but they still were hilarious. And I love that it had the dung beetle because Emily is kind of mildly obsessed with that. So I just thought it would be fun to have a little bit of poetry along with some facts in our morning time. And then for hands-on activities, which is normally the things that Emily is doing while I'm reading aloud. And since a large portion of our morning time is reading aloud, I try to make sure I have a lot of different things on hand. One of which is this real bug dig kit. There is three genuine bug specimens inside. Um, I don't expect this to take her more than one or two mornings to do, which is why there's plenty of other stuff as well. I just thought that would be fun. We have paint by sticker kids, beautiful bugs. I love these for her. Um, the adult ones are a little bit more advanced, but she still enjoys the kids ones. The stickers are numbered and you just stick them where they belong to create some of the different bug masterpieces. Then we also have the Usborne Bugs Magic Painting Book. So all she has to have for this is water, which is kind of nice during morning time. I don't have to worry about a lot of messes. And the images in here are absolutely beautiful. Then we have the National Geographic Creepy Crawly Sticker Activity Book. That's just lots of sticker bug different type of activities, things that will keep her entertained while I'm reading aloud, but they will keep her entertained quietly. I have the Usborne book and jigsaw puzzle for bugs. This is way going to be way easy for her, but she will still enjoy doing it. So I decided to pull it out. It's not something that I purchased, 
We've had it for a while. Just gonna bring some new life to it. And then we have the newest broccoli box, which we actually have a look inside video of the subscription. So I will link it up here for you guys. This one is the butterfly box. And it came with the book, um, A Butterfly is Patient. I just didn't grab that because this is what will be part of our morning time. These books are these boxes always come with a parent guide that has some details. This one is going to be so much fun for her. It has three different sensory play dos that she can use. And then some beads and buttons and flowers and all of these little adorable butterflies. And then popsicle sticks and a butterfly cookie cutter. I mean, there's just gonna be tons of creations happening here. Little rolling pin, so I'm excited to see what she does with that. And then obviously we always include games. My kind of stipulation for games during morning time are that they can be played with two players because sometimes Emily and I are doing morning time alone. Um, and also that they play in about 20 minutes or less approximately. Um, we have other mini beast games. We love all kinds of games, but these are the ones that will be included in our morning time because like I said, we can play them two player and I know that they'll play in about 20 minutes or less for the most part. So we have Butterfly Wings, which is a matching game. You're basically trying to match the inside of the butterfly's wings to the outside. Then we have two different top trumps. We have the top trumps bugs, if I can actually get them separated. We have the top trumps bugs, which is just all different types of bugs and it's essentially just a war game. We really, really enjoy this though. And then we also have the Which is the Deadliest Spider version as well. Oh, that's the wrong side, sorry guys. So it has a lot of different spiders. Again, it's just war. You're basically trying to see who's gonna win out of one of these facts. It is a fun war game that mixes in a lot of little tidbits of facts. We have the Professor Noggins for the bugs. This is a trivia game. There is a dice that you roll and then you answer depending on which number that you rolled. We always start on the easy and then by the end of our unit study and the end of our morning time, we are trying to do the hard. So, you know, two to three months from now, we're hoping to be able to answer those hard questions. Hive, which is a game crawling with possibilities. It is a tile laying game. It's for two players, so perfect for morning time. Plays in about 20 minutes. And then we have Bug Bingo, which is one of our favorites. We love all of the Lawrence King games. The illustrations are absolutely gorgeous. And I'll try to get you a close up of that one. And then obviously we will be doing the mini beast unit study that I created around the same time. So there will also be opportunities for her to do things like um, color, all of the different coloring pages that are included in here during morning time as one of her hands-on activities. And then there's also printable games that we will also be incorporating during game time, such as the mini beast spot it. So there will still be other things that we'll be pulling from the unit study into our morning time as we see fit. And so that will be our mini beast morning time. Before I go off to catch some butterflies, I wanna leave y'all with a joke. Why couldn't the dung beetle go to the party? because he was on duty. Get it? <laughs> well, I'm off now. Hey, there you are. I've been looking for you.